the probability of death we talked about uh, the probability of uh, death we defined it as qx a person aged x dying within the next one year or probably when i am looking at uh, the constant uh, rate of mortality i am looking at it as mu x so <coughs> defining it as uh, either qx or mu x i would like to find out okay if i am estimating uh, the probability uh, using uh, the binomial model the probability of deaths using uh, the binomial model how would i go ahead with it and within that binomial also i would be talking about uh, a simple binomial model versus uh, a general binomial model we'll try to see how do we differentiate uh, these two aspects and also how do i uh, get into an estimation uh, of uh, how do i get into an estimation uh, of uh, the force of mortality using uh, the poisson model and uh, what are the goodnesses uh, what are the advantages or probably what are the limitations of using both uh, the binomial as well as uh, the poisson models and finally trying to compare the two state markov model we'll try to compare a two state markov model with a binomial as well as poisson model see in what situations for what kind of modeling what kind of uh, mechanism would be a much better fitment which uh, type of modeling would suit what kind of data so this is what we will try to uh, look at as a part of this particular session so let's get into it so trying to understand a simple binomial model see in case of a binomial model we generally uh, look at only two major outcomes coming up right two major outcomes death and no death or death and alive so when i am looking at let's say uh, i am observing a population of n people right uh, n people who are aged x and of course each life is independent right some of the rules that are associated with a binomial uh, distribution n identical and independently uh, distributed so we have n identical lives having age x so i am trying to observe them for one year period and uh, there let's say i have observed d people who have died now uh, if i assume that the number of deaths the number of deaths is following a binomial distribution then obviously the deaths can be modeled like this the binomial distribution with number number of uh, records number of samples as n and the probability of death being qx the the probability that a person aged x dies within the next one year so i can very well uh, talk about modeling probability that there are exactly d number of deaths right probability that there are exactly d number of deaths i can write it as ncd qx power d into 1 minus qx to the power n minus d so the likelihood function for qx right so the probability density function is what will go as a likelihood function so the likelihood function for qx becomes ncd qx power d into 1 minus qx to the power n minus d and from there if i am going with log likelihood function i am going with the log qx 
which again okay i am taking a logarithm of this uh, constant because i would like to estimate qx here right so log constant ncd plus d times log qx d times log qx plus n minus d times log 1 minus qx this is the log likelihood so my intention is to maximize the log likelihood which means i will take the derivative of this uh, log likelihood function and equate it to zero so the derivative of this part is zero so i will take the derivative of log likelihood function with respect to the qx because i want to estimate qx so this is becoming 0 plus d by qx right log qx the derivative is 1 by qx minus n minus d again 1 minus qx and the derivative of 1 minus qx becoming minus 1 so this part is becoming d by qx plus n minus d by 1 minus qx this should be equal to 0 so obviously when i am doing a small uh, rework d minus dqx plus nqx minus right uh, here it is uh, coming out Oh, sorry this is plus so this is becoming minus so d minus dqx minus nqx plus dqx this should be equal to zero so i am simplifying this off working out as d minus nqx equal to zero from here i get my qx equal to d by n so an estimate of qx an estimate of uh, the probability of death is nothing but the number of deaths that are observed right the number of deaths that are observed divided by number of uh, observation so uh, this is a maximum likelihood estimator itself because when i take the second derivative of the same right for this if i am taking the second derivative it becomes 